and welcome all you meddling kids over the age of 13, of course. In this video, I am going to unbox and review one of the four dolls in the Living Dead Doll Presents the Scooby-Doo Mystery Ink Set by Mezco Toys. In this series, each of the Mystery Ink figures come packaged with a Build-A-Figure Scooby-Doo piece that when put together, create our beloved Scooby-Doo. So, in this video, I am going to unbox and review... Fred! Fred is the leader of the Mystery Inc. and he drives the Mystery Machine. Fred is known for capturing villains. So let's see if we can get Fred out of this box. Actually, I want to look at the artwork first. The artwork looks like it's pretty cool. LDD presents Scooby-Doo. Then it's got all of them, including the Scooby-Doo mystery, uh, not mystery, the build -a figure figure and of course everyone in the gang there and let's do a close-up oop too close huh of the box here so we see the artwork here with the figures here but of course it shows the collect the whole mystery ink gang to build scooby-doo shows you what scooby looks like and then of course artwork of the mystery ink gang so, without further ado, I am going to open this box. I'm going to use my blade because I am over 13 years old. And let's see. Uh, I am, right? Um, let's see if I can get this open. Hmm. It's kind of tight here. So what I'm going to do is I don't want to damage the box. So I'm going to try the underside. Let's see if we can get this open. Okay, I'm reaching my thumb in here. I did wrinkle the little thing here, but it's the inside flap, so that's okay. And let's see if we can get this box all the way open and voila we have well wait a minute <laughs> voila we have fred so let's see if i can remove the box from my set and let's see if we can get him out of this plastic. So it looks like he comes with the legs for Scooby-Doo, but let's get him out. Actually, let's get this out. And look, he's not even stuck to anything. How cool, he just comes out of the box. That is super easy and super cool. So let's see. So they say that he is approximately 10 inches tall and he comes with his signature orange ascot and his white shirt with the little blue, but it looks like it's attached. It's not actually uh, two separate pieces. It's actually one piece, which is just fine. And he comes with the little blue pants and the yellow shoes. And let's see if we can just show just a little close-up of him. And here's a close-up of his face. And yeah, he's very cute. He's very adorable. Let's see, he has five points of articulation. So his wrists don't move. His arms move up and down, side to side. And of course, the elbow joints do not move, neither do the knees. The legs move kind of back and forth. And yeah, it's a little a tight joint, which is good. I wouldn't really, I'd sit him down like maybe like this, but I, he couldn't really fully sit down. Not in these pants. <laughs> so anyway, let's put him down. I'd like to take a look at what he comes with, which is of course the Scooby-Doo parts. And look like he comes with, I'm not sure, 
if these are the front legs or the hind legs, but he comes with a pair of legs. So I wanted to do a quick 360 of Fred. And as you can see from all angles, his outfit, he's super cute. And like I said, he is 10 inches tall. So he's gonna be shorter than Barbie. And then let's just get a little closer here so you can see his face and his hair. And of course, his little famous ascot. And his little shoes, no socks, but we don't really need socks for this doll, do we? I think it would have just been bulky. And of course, Fred! As far as scale is concerned, I just wanted to put Fred next to comparable fashion dolls just to see what he looked like standing next to them. So you can see he is shorter and, and stouter than they are, um, but so perfectly cute. So I just wanted to look at the scale. So just as a reminder, Fred comes with a pair of Scooby-Doo's legs for the Build-A-Figure figure. Hi, my Fred. I really like the Fred doll. I'll start off by saying that. However, I do have just a couple points of critique. I do wish that he had been given maybe a little bit thicker hair. It seems a little bit kind of sparse or weird. Um, on this doll in, in particular. And secondly, I, I appreciate that he has the five points of articulation. I just wish he had more articulation like Monster High or other cheaper dolls. Um, and I understand that this is the aesthetic of the uh, Living Dead dolls, which is, I understand it's cool, but it might be time to upgrade the bodies. That being said, I think Mezco Toys did a great job with this doll. I feel like the outfit is super cute. It's true to the character, including the little orange ascot. Um, I think that they got the colors just right. Um, and I love the little face. He's super cute. So I say if you are a fan of Fred, then this doll is for you. Although. I can't imagine how you could resist buying, not buying the entire collection because number one, who wouldn't want the whole gang together and you get Scooby-Doo. So that being said, good job. Anyway, if you like this video, then please make sure that you click the like button so that I know that you liked it. Also make sure that you subscribe so that you're notified of when I come up with more videos like this one. So anyway, Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. And it would have been mine if it hadn't been to those meddling kids.